I think it's been about eight years, I could say. Um, and ever since I started, I just couldn't stop. When I'm not recording music, I'm usually painting, taking photographs, drawing, making videos, graphic design, you know, helping out people with logos and stuff like that. I have about four albums, produced three of them myself. On another, I work with producer Paperwolf. I also have one instrumental album out. I also have about a dozen mixtapes. I have a lot of stuff I've done with Swag Jesus, also known as Reckless, Recky. Uh, we came up with Looney House together. I can't stop creating. This is what I feel like I was meant to do. So I'm just gonna keep going and uh, I can't see myself doing anything else. And there's definitely more to come. process that I go through when I'm making music is uh, I usually start with the beat. I don't really have anything in mind from the beginning. As I build on, uh, you know, I just let it come naturally, let it flow, and I add on and start writing, and sometimes I'm writing as I'm making the beat or thinking of concepts as I'm doing it, and then at the end I have the finalized project or song or album, and that's when, uh, that's when I decide to give it to you guys. First time I started rapping was with a few of my friends. We were just fucking around, going to one of my boys' house, and um, he had he had a mic and a whole setup. And we just go in there and like freestyle dumb shit. Later on, it got more serious, and uh, I actually started to really enjoy making some serious stuff. The area that I grew up in doesn't really influence my music that much. I usually get my influences from other places, uh, different countries, different states, different artists from all over the place, different genres like hip-hop, psychedelic rock, um, you know, sometimes like house, electronic. That's the stuff that really inspires me. My favorite style of music is definitely synth pop right now, but every year it changes. Like, you know, I go through these phases where I like one genre more than the other, but um, right now it's really synth pop and um, I'm actually kind of using a lot of uh, a lot of the, their concepts, like a lot of their instruments and synths and stuff in my beats. So you might see some reflection there. Nirvana is definitely one of my favorite bands and I will continue to listen to them always and forever. Ever since I heard them, I fell in love and you can always relate to them because there's always points in your life where you're down and you just relate to Nirvana. Kurt Cobain is the man. I don't necessarily think that music is a very important factor in a child's education, but I do believe that it's the parent's job to have the tools laying around for them, like maybe an instrument, maybe a, a canvas, some paint, you know, have all the options around. So you let the kid pick and choose, you know, what draws them and let them figure it out. My main passion is definitely music. But I can't, I can't just stick to one thing. I'm always doing multiple things at the same time. So um, it is what it is. I just have to keep creating things. So that's just what I do. The first time I performed was in Richmond, Virginia. Me and my boy, uh, D-Matt, Millie. Um, we performed a couple songs from our new mixtape. And there wasn't much people there, but you know, we did, we did our thing and it was really fun. Really enjoyed it. My favorite place to perform at would definitely be the Gorge Amphitheater in Quincy, Washington. I passed by it, it was amazing. There was like mountains, water, valleys. It's crazy and it's like on the edge of the cliff. The stage is on the edge of the cliff and it's like ridiculous. It's really awesome. I don't necessarily have stage fright, but I do get nervous a little bit and I do, um, get anxiety sometimes when I start thinking about it a little too much, but once I'm up there, once I'm doing my thing, uh, it all comes natural and it just I just take over and like have a great time. I would love to open for Death Grips, but too bad they broke up as a band and they're gone. But great stuff you guys put out. If money was not an issue, 
I would be doing the same exact thing I'm doing now, except I wouldn't be worrying about making the rent or paying my bills. I would just enjoy what I'm doing and relax. And that's what I would do every day. My best advice to you if you're a creator, you're an artist, is never give up and keep going, keep doing you, and create something that matches who you are and be yourself. Don't try to become something that you're not and find your sound, find who you want to be, and just be yourself. Uh, you can find my stuff online. Um, uh, my uh, main blog is looneyhouse.tumblr.com and I have my music there, I have my artwork, I have my photography, and I have links to all my uh, social media so you can follow me. That's the best place to find me.